Area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis. In this video, we will focus on below the x-axis. You will find this on page 328 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis below the x-axis. If we work out an area below the x-axis, then this will have a negative value. This is because the integral is summing the y values, which are all negative. Area can only be positive, so we change the answer to a positive value. Therefore, area below the, the x-axis, it's actually that we just take that, we multiply it by a negative. Generally, the negative sign is not shown, but the answer is understood to be positive because an area cannot be negative. Okay. So let's look at an example. Um, find the coordinates of the points A, B, and C. This is just coordinate geometry. So there's the curve where it cuts the x-axis. You make the value of y0. Okay. And then you factorize, and it's cutting the x-axis at... Let's just put it in the sketch. It's cutting there at negative 1, and it's cutting at 5. And if you want to see where it cuts the y-axis, it's then you just put in the place of x0, and that will be negative 5. Okay, and just read the question. Find the coordinates. So don't just write the points. Write the full coordinates. Okay, now find the area of the shaded region. So if you find the area, so now it's going to be between 5 and negative 1. And I'm just going to integrate, and then I'm going to substitute, and then I get a negative value. And actually, I'm multiplying, but you don't have to show the step. It's just we say, therefore, the area is 36 units squared. Due to the fact that the area is under the x-axis, the value is negative. But area must be a positive value. Therefore, the area is 36 units squared. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you just to do number A. I think that's enough. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number A. Uh, I like always first to write down just my formula, my function. Uh, find the area of each shaded region. Now, the reason, if you want to see where it's cutting the x-axis, so, so to find the x-coordinate, we say to find the x-coordinate, make y zero. So if we put a zero there, it's already factorized. Can you see that? So therefore, x will be 0, or x will be equal to 3. Okay, so now it's basically saying to you that that is 3 and that is the 0. Okay, so <laughs> if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to say area equals 3 and 0. And now, work with this, I'm going to multiply it in. So this is actually going to give me x squared minus 3x. And that is what I'm going to integrate. x squared minus 3x, and it's 2x. Okay. So that is going to give me then, okay, I'm going to integrate. So it's x3, I add 1, divide by 3, minus 3x squared, and I divide by square, the 2, and it's 3 and 0. It's actually a lovely one, not difficult. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 3, 3 squared over 2, subtract, and then it's going to be 0 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 3, 0 squared over 2, close the bracket. Okay, and that is just going to give me that 27 divided by 3, it's going to be 9. This is 9 times 3, this is going to come to a fraction now. So this is going to be 9 times 3, which is 27 divided by 2. 
that's going to give me 13.5 and this is just going to be zero so just be careful that that two let me just make it smaller that two is for that it's not the square of the bracket okay Pin. So basically, I'm going to get negative 4 and a half, or negative 4.5, but shaded area, so therefore, um, the shaded area, is 4 and a half units squared. Okay. And that will be your answer.